It's a fermented milk drink. You use cultures, kefir grains, to ferment the milk. The grains, which um, they look like little cauliflowers, they eat the lactose, they feed on the lactose in the milk, and they give out uh, probiotics. So the milk is, when it's fermented, it becomes very thick, and it's full of probiotics uh, at a much higher level than you'd likely to find in something similar of the same size. We were approached by Acorn Dairy and we had a long talk about it because we, we use our own family farm milk for all the cheeses. But we felt that because kefir is considered a health drink, going down the organic route and partnering with Acorn Dairy made sense. It, it fitted with the kind of people who would want to use kefir. We get the milk from Acorn already pasteurised, put it into the tank and bring it up to around about 19, 20 degrees. And then we measure out the amount of grain for the quantity of milk. You have to be really careful. The grains tell us what they want to do. It sounds bizarre, but we have learned um, to be very mindful of them. We measure the grains out. And if it's the same batch of milk, they can go straight in. If it's a different batch of milk, we give them a rinse. Bring it up to 22. And then we put the lid on um, and we seal it and we leave it for at least 24 hours. We do take the pH when we, when we, before we bottle it, before we strain it even, we take a pH and we're looking for a particular pH range. And if it hits that pH range, we know it's ready. Um, it should be thick and um, sometimes it has a, quite often it has a, like a fermented crust on the top and it smells yeasty. It should smell good, it shouldn't smell, um, it should have a, a very, a reassuring smell. We stir it all up because the thin milk will be at the bottom, the thin kefir and the thick will be at the top. Stir it all up and we do a two sieve process. We sieve first to get the bigger parts of the uh, grains out and they then go into milk to be fed and then we sieve it again to get the little grains out. Uh, we can't get all of them out because it's a live product. There's still small kefir grains in our kefir and that means it continues to be fermented. And then we put it into bottles and put the lids on and then we leave it for about an hour and come back and it has to do the pst test. You have to say that very carefully. Um, and we come back and we take the, we open the lid and if it just goes pst, we know the fermentation process is, is bang on. So that's our second quality test really, pH first and then that. We seal the bottles and then they're refrigerated. You don't actually have to refrigerate kefir because it is in itself a preservative. Um, however, we recommend you do so because it slows the fermentation process down um, and you're likely to not get it quite as tart if you keep it longer. I had my gallbladder out. Um, I was told that my my digestive issues would be resolved through that um, and they weren't. I was still having a lot of pain with certain foods that I was eating and my diet was getting more and more restrictive. I read about it. I decided to give it a go, try it. It was on the arches as well. So I thought, well, it's got to be right, hasn't it? So <laughs> tried it and um, for me, I can't make any sweeping health claims. For me, it made a massive difference to my ability to, I could then eat anything without any problems.